Okay. One more on the other side. Okay, so if you do a light cut, yeah. Okay guys, this time I have a different types of cutting tests going on. I'm gonna be testing a new cutting medium. This comes courtesy of two friends who have helped me tremendously in my research. One is Peter Johnson, the famed bladesmith. The other is Lancelot Chen. If you have not already checked out uh, the work Lancelot's doing, uh, please do so. He has been at this for decades and decades now, and uh, he makes wonderful simulators. He's just released a new sword he designed himself for kind of a competition cutter. And um, he works with this recipe that long ago Peter Johnson came up with as a, a good simulation, probably better than we have. So if you look at um, things like tatami, tatami is kind of the, the base standard, but it's very hard to access uh, when it comes to tatami right now, um, as far as swords are concerned. This is soaked newspaper that has been rolled together. And I'm not going to get into it right now, but this may be a, a better um, actual simulation for um, for testing things like human analogs. Um, inside of it is piping. Now, this is not PVC piping. P PVC polyvinyl chloride is um, is too brittle to be used. Lancelot uses PPR piping, uh, polypropylene piping, uh, which is less. Uh, brittle than PVC and actually a decent analog for vital bone. I cannot find PPR. This is a different type of piping and this is why I'm making the video today. This is PEX, uh, polyethylene piping. It might be a little softer than what Lancelot uses, so if anything maybe I'll have an easier go of it than he does. We'll have to see. This is the first go. I have no idea what's going to happen. It might be a disaster. You guys will be along for the ride. So. I have one target that's roughly mm, upper arm size. I guess this guy's working out a little bit more than I am. I'm going to see if I can um, get a couple of chops in. I'm going to go with a kind of light cut the first time, and I'm going to just increase the, the power until we get all the way through, and we'll see what happens. Okay? So I'm going to try and put it in, and hopefully it doesn't fall off. It's been trying to slide off the pipe. And it stays. And the pipe is really long, which means it's going to wobble a little bit. All right, so we already have our first issue. The pipe wants to wobble. If I go fast, I think I can do this. So let me get the camera set up. I'll get my sword in hand, I'll put it down and then we'll do the shot. All right, we're coming in hot and heavy. Putting my pipe in. I'm going to use gravity as my friend. All right. I'm going to have to use my ninja skills to hit this target on the move, I think. So we'll have to improve the rig for future tests. Okay, so I was able to get a pretty clean cut, considering I just had to <laughs> just make a cut of it. Um, was able to get a pretty decent cut out of the target. Let me see if we can go again. Maybe we can get a second cut. You know what? Why am I letting the katana have all the fun? 
we're going to try the Dao from LK Chen. Okay, Tang Han Dao, stay there. <sighs> Amazing. Okay, so that cut very well and that provided a really nice cutting medium. So I'm having a little bit of an issue with my target staying in place. Let me see if I can get one more cut out of it. Hang on. The PEX is working really well. It's not fracturing at all. Okay. Now it's finally staying still. And once again, I'm getting a really clean cut. Now I can see I did not go all the way through the target. So the target is is proving. I don't know where my little tip went. This is proving a pretty good target to to try against. You have to you have to get pretty good cuts in to be able to to go all the way through the rolled paper here. All right, that time I just blasted all the way through and I got a clean cut and this is very nice to be able to to cut through. Let me just try a naked cut on it. Okay, one more on the other side. Okay, so if you do a light cut, yeah. So it has, if I just try and cut it lightly, let's see. It has the, it's strong, and if you just cut into it lightly, it's, not going to fracture, and it's got a strength a little bit, it's interesting. It's not unlike the, uh, the bamboo that I have here, but it has a very different cleavage. So if I hit bamboo like that, if I try and hit bamboo with the same level of strength, the bamboo is going to crack and fracture. And that's not exactly the way that living bone operates. This type of chipping and spalling is much closer to how the majority of, of bone operates. Um, I'm inclined to say that this is good and it's pretty inexpensive. So this is a pretty good simulator to have in the middle of your, of your flesh analog. We'll get into talking about the newspaper uh, later, but so I'm cautiously optimistic about this type of piping. This is inexpensive, not in all. Um, so I think I went to two Home Depots and I found it at the second. So hopefully this will be something available for us here in North America since PPR plumbing doesn't seem available to um, typical consumers. I think it's available to contractors. But if you're just a kind of usual guy like me, uh, you, you can't find it very easily. So something to consider if you're trying to find something to stick in the middle of your your targets. Um, this this here is going to be an inexpensive way to put something in. It's not going to cause damage to your blade, and it's going to be a lot closer than most other bone simulants that are easily available. Okay, guys, that's all that we have for now. Until next time, take care.